Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and a little different video than before. I am working on a save file. Let me actually open up my Google Sheets here on my other screen so I can see what I've been up to. But I started to work on a save file. I know it's not really something I would do because there's so many different save files already out there. But I figured I'll... I'll give it a go. Maybe I finish it, maybe I don't. We'll we'll see. But what do you think of these things? What what I would love to hear what are your thoughts on save files in general? Like I have massive massive lots here that are very very busy. They are marked as one like this for example. If I go on this lot here, it is marked as a restaurant if I remember right. And, but I have made it like a big uh, street type of thing. And these are all the builds that I have done in uh, the past. There's new, there's old, uh, there's base game stuff. Like, you know, there's so many different kind of builds here that uh, along the years I've been more interested in building comparison to what I am now like in, right now I don't really build at all because I don't feel like building I don't know why I just prefer to play the game if anything so I have this big big lot here that has like apartments down here you can see for example here there's an apartment right here and there's like a this corridor here that uh, takes them upstairs there's a uh, two apartments over here there's like a small studio there's another studio and then there's like a little bit bigger apartment here it has a bedroom even on the higher level more apartments then there is a like a spa so you could use this as a spa as well then there is a restaurant actual restaurant over here uh, if you're actually going to use this as a restaurant as it is marked uh, it will let the waitresses pull your sims up here on this cafe as well which is over here so you could sell some of your baked goods over here if you so wanted to so we have places over here then we have um library of course we have computers and stuff over here and then we have another apartment and then we have some empty spaces here so you can you know pull up whatever you want there's a really stupid boring karaoke bar here too for those who want to have a little bit of time for that then there's a flower shop of course and you know just just to you know it's not much but it's something it's a little different to what we usually build and you know, I'm not gonna go through every single build, especially the living lots, because you have seen me build these. Most of these you have seen. Like this one, for example, you have seen this on my YouTube channel before. These are from like 2017 and higher, I think. The build years are from 2017 and up. So here we have a retail lot. And it's a, yet again, it's going into town and we have a massive, massive lot here with a whole lot of to do. We have a apartment again. We have like this weird, I don't even know what to call this. Uh, this is at the time when we got the debug menu item. So I have this like uh, staircase here that doesn't obviously work. So the apartments are not actually actually accessible at all. So they're just here for the looks. You can obviously make sim spawn here if you have MCC control sensor. So that's something. Here's a apartment that needs a little bit of a fixing and stuff. And here's a cute little apartment over here. Then we have a um, little bakery over here. And here's the baking room. Obviously the bakery needs a baking room. And here we have a super super cool cafe and obviously the cafe has a little tables on the front there can someone do some basketing there's a little cat statue there because why not and here's some grim old bar i have no excuses for this one then we have a little bit of a 
art studio thingy magic thing where you can buy art if you wanted to none of these items are set to sale in case you go and want to purchase this for your same it's it's a whole lot of money but in case you do you need to put the items to sell that you want to sell or change them to whatever you want and here's this super duper cute uh laundromat is that the word laundromat i think it is and then we go upstairs and we have a small small gym small small gym over here apparently we have stairs upstairs yes we do there's some yoga here as well or uh, meditation you can do and then this one i changed a little bit because you can come and get your uh, future red over here this is amazing i love this this is so cool um what else i don't think this one really had much else going on in there there's a little store clothing store because why not it's cool but yeah th this is just um you know this is from the time when i was like intrigued making this a little, little bigger um like co combination lots i have done quite a few of these but um uh, I, I don't know, I just don't feel that inspired to build anymore. It's kind of sad. I do love the building in this game. I didn't build in The Sims 3 or in The Sim, Sims 2 that much at all, honestly. But uh, I just, I don't, I don't collect, I, I don't connect with it in, um, in those games. And now I have lost everything I want, basically, on um, The Sims 4, that, that, that little flame that inspirational flame so i just play if you are here just for the build i'm so sorry that i have lost it i, I i'm looking for the inspiration pack but i i can't force it and then i have these like uh, multi-home lots like community things so multiple families can be here i have always calculated so that there would be um eight sims living on this lot so they the beds have been calculated in a way that, that there's three beds over here there is um one pot bed for over here and then we have a one two three three bed here so that would be one two three four five six seven and one of the family homes can have uh, both parents in something dramatic could have happened to the other family or it's a single mom or dad so you can make really awesome little like story um story things in these and of course the kids of this lot deserved all the best so they have a big big like a playground and the parents can dry up their clothes over here and every every house has their own uh, mailbox i believe except for this one why do you not have a mailbox? I have no idea, but you don't. It's fine. They share all the all the costs. <laughs> so, and I don't know. Uh, I love doing these as well. Then there's some empty lots. Some have plants on them, some don't. I have some starter houses as well. I have tried to do bit of a like um, there's a combo of uh, renovations i have done then there's completely new uh, new houses like this one i believe i have this in youtube as well i think i did put it up on youtube as well this one i love this this was quite popular at some point from uh, people found it on pinterest and made it look like what they, they did um, I if I find a picture on Pinterest that is just from the front I try to make the back look something similar I don't actually go to Google search or anything I just you know try to make a little bit look like mine so then we have like a very basic and modern we don't have much going on I never over decorate my house so uh, the bigger lots you can be sure that there is a lot of items there that are, are possibly lagging your game out so when you're if you are ever gonna be uh, downloading my builds or the save file if i ever finish it then um well finishing this probably depends on a lot of you guys 
you know, like, let me know what you think. Do you want it to be finished? Are you interested in such a thing? So, um, like, I, I just like all these weird look at things and I, I never over decorate as I said so a little bit of a train a train going on in my head right now it's just going so fast with all the thoughts that it's difficult to hold on to it um I don't I don't think that door actually works I'm gonna be replacing that with something else hang on I don't have move objects on now so it's a good good place to do this oh okay we have a bit of a problem here I see is it you? You're probably gonna be the one who's blocking it, right? So let's... Nope. Something else. Is it the bathroom itself? Ooh, okay. Um, Let's put that back and let's just remove a wall. Okay, that's better. I'm sorry it's not as pretty, but we are trying to make everything fu functional here, so... There we go. I'm just going through every lot and fixing little things and b things and bobs and stuff like that and then there's lots like this that I absolutely love and adore and I have gone through the effort to change the lights and everything the colors okay hang on I need to answer the phone phone uh, door okay I'm back I ended up uh, getting my delivery and uh, making breakfast and everything so I have no memory whatsoever what we've been doing before uh, what, or going through I think we were in here we checked out this modern home uh, there are also houses like this southern uh, western estate home that is halfway finished so there's like downstairs is uh, already but you need to you know furnish bedrooms in the way that you want them or whatever then there is these like Roman type of uh, ancient homes. There is a bit of a more, um, I don't know what's the actual word for what what are these homes like. And there is um, uh, renovations, as I probably mentioned before. There's renovation houses that are based on the original, but then I went and uh, gave them a bit of a change to better or worse. Whoever decides what what is what um what else then we have this for example like OSC Springs has like renovated uh, the public lot that they have had before there is a completely different type of a uh, slipshot mesquite where what's his face where, uh, lived I don't even remember his name uh, chest and the new crest is completely done, I think. Yes, we do have. And some of the lots looked emptier because they are um, lower cost uh, apartments or houses. So they they won't be with covered with like trees and whatever. So there's a little bit of a farm living here. And then we have modern houses on this side. And then we have like a cafe. Not every map has a whole ton of stuff to do. Not every map will have a gym and a library and a nightclub, you know, or a bar. Uh, they, they, they will vary between every uh, every lot and house. So here we have this cafe build. There's a little bit of a basket court over here. And then we have yet again another apartment over here. We have a bit of a gym situation. We have a cafe, we have a store and I think a laundromat. Yes, we do have a laundromat over here. And then we have like showers and toilets and bathrooms and whatever over here. So every lot has everything that you might think that you need. And here's obviously a crossing because there's going to be cars driving by. Mm hmm. And uh, there was an entrance from the back here to the apartment, uh, apartment level over here. There's a empty, empty apartment here with the furnished bedroom for some reason. Maybe I'll just uh, remove these. It makes no sense. So I'm just going to remove all that was in here. Doesn't even need the curtain over there. So we have one furnished apartment here. Even with the little kitchen, wow! <laughs> I sometimes amaze myself. Okay, with the small bathroom and everything. Okay, so everything is uh, accessible. Uh, 
um, I have playtested at least 99% of my lots, so none of them should break or be questionable in quality of per se. Magnolia is uh, completely renovated. There is a shopping mall who is owned by the Landers family. We have a gamer's cafe over here, which is full with like all sort of uh, gaming equipment. Then we have a little club over here. It's adorable. We have a vegetarian's heaven restaurant, which only serves vegetarian or uh, foods. Uh, then we have Winterberg and Winterberg is a mess. <laughs> we have Hogwarts. We have some medieval uh, apartments, houses over here. We have Wizard of Sparrow version 2 because I did version 1 and it was absolutely disgusting. So I redid that. We have a little bit of a national park. We have re redecorated the island bluff over here, which is now a wedding gazebo. So you can go there and get engaged or married or whatever. I think you can even pull a party over here. So it should work. We have a ton of family homes over here in different price ranges. And then we have a little fairy tale over here. It's uh, replaced. Let me actually check what was the lot called. Can I see uh, Magnolia Windenburg? Here we go. So can we see what this was actually called? No, I can't remember what it was called actually, but uh, uh, it's still spooky and it's a cat and a dog hangout because, you know, the cats and dogs are so only in Prudendal Bay, so I tried to uh, pull them somewhere else too. Then there's these ancient ruins over here. Uh, I'm not going to be ruining that. We have a little bit of a burger bar over here. We have cafe. We have a library. I have also used... Um, let me see if I can see uh, Max's build. So I have used these and I have given them a little bit of a renovation. I have used... Um, I think I used like bowling bowling alley or something or something the other and some others like I just gave them a makeover my, my little twist to them uh, then we have narrow harrow which is a adorable narrow type of house we have a caravan house over here and then of course we have the apartment from sex and the city and a remodel of a hair and a hedgehog we have a tiny restaurant over here this uh, this map is full of like places to go, really. There is a pool, there is a park, there is a nightclub, there is a cafe, restaurant, another cafe, restaurant, library. There's a lot of to do here. Then to San Mishuno. Um, all the apartments are remodeled or going to be remodeled in a better way or a worse way. <laughs> and they... Uh, have different type of weekly rents, deposits, and the furnishings are obviously going to be more or less expensive. And um, let's see, there is an empty Hakim house as well. So I haven't, either this will come as an empty or um, I will, you know, give you a floor plan or something, but I'm, I'm not going to do everything ready for you. I haven't redone gallery yet. Uh, I have, however, uh, like an apartment building over here. I wonder if I have clicked it now or not. Let's go see. It's like a um, one of those uh, multiple house lots, but it's a apartment building that I have done myself. So this is a few years old as well. This is uh, done probably around the area, uh, time when uh, City Living came out. Uh, so we have apartment all the way at the top here. It would have been perfect if I put the balcony on the other side. Oh well, live and learn for the spots and places they are in. And there's like this walkway over here. I haven't put up um, elevators in here because it doesn't work. It only lives in actual apartment buildings that you are building in, not these your own made ones. I haven't done anything for that balcony, so you can decorate that in a way that you want. I might be pulling stuff out of here if I feel like it. Uh, everything is subject to change. So there's a lot of... Uh, there's a garage, there's bins. Uh, the mailbox for some reason went inside the house. 
Uh, we also have a tofu docks here just in case and then we have a public area for everyone so everyone can do their laundry here everyone can come and chill in the sauna and stuff like that there's a little bit of a play area for the children as well there's a gateway over there and yeah i just like doing these kind of like little combo things and i think i calculated again that you can have like a single uh, family uh, family or single single I, I don't remember but it, it all these that have multiple houses or apartments they should hold eight sims which is the maximum in a household without mods and i haven't done these yet i don't think it's possible i am still to work in these um, then there's a chest llama. This is a uh, restaurant that we've renovated in the renovation challenge, uh, challenge group. There is Central Park, which is from the Friends. And I believe I did have a Friends um, apartment as well. So I'm thinking if I should pull that up to here or here instead. But it is a subject to change. At the moment, there is a lounge up here. And then we have a center park here that is actually a castle of Meridia. Uh, it is a big, big castle that um, people can come and chill out at. It's kind of like a museum without being a museum. I don't think I have touched Forgotten Hollow yet. Nope, not been here yet. What do you want me to get into Forgotten Hollow? It's up to you. Then we have Brindledon Bay, we have uh, Leslie's Vet Clinic, this was from Let's Play when Cats and Dogs was launched, I played uh, a little bit of a Cats and Dogs Let's Play. Uh, we have Inner Peace Temple over here on this side, and I think there's a cafe, then there's a couple of like uh, starter homes over here. Then we have uh, Pop's Diner that is from a TV show as well. Um, uh, friend of my husband was asking to get one so I made that uh, simple summer park we have every little bit of this and that I do love a wedding lot so there's probably gonna be way too many of those there's another one with those four houses over there you get a little bit of a teaser on the color theme over there Delso Valley should be done yes yes it is it is a mix of old and new so we have this a uh, big uh, castle von Windenberg over here um, the, I don't know if I should be renaming this but uh, now it is that uh, castle white rock uh, found here and the landers are living on Glimmerbrook Manor let's go see them or uh, is anyone at the manor you are okay let's go with the boy there we go here is Matthew Landers, and here's also Katrina and the mum Tania. Okay, uh, I thought you had grandparents. Did I not give you grandparents? I guess I did not. Oh, well, that's a little awkward. <laughs> hey, you have met someone. That's a good sign. That's very nice. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, oh, it's uh, raining here. That's a little awkward as well. Oh, yeah, here is their home, and these are uh, it, these are all like old, old type of builds, um, more or less. From the time when I was doing a lot of fantasy stuff, so, and no, I don't use tool mod on my builds. I I go without, so this is all just um, code without any of any of the mods. Um, move objects. That's pretty much it that I all, all I use and that's good enough for me. So they have the best of view here though. And small small backyard. I don't uh, I don't do big landscapings. I do uh, small ones. But yeah, I will have uh, some townies, some sims here. They should have some sort of a uh, characteristic traits and yeah, yeah, they do know something. Oh, she's done already on parenting. Wow, she's great, mom. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, they will all have skills and some friendships and stuff like that. I will be AFK playing um, this because MCC will actually let me um, get 
them get to know and get remarried or you know get pregnancies and stuff like that going all by itself so the whole city will be a complete mess soon there's a castle simberg that's another one of those that i was building during the little fantasy uh, season of mine there is a the light a BM, uh, lighthouse bnb that was a i think 200 sub Thank you, build or something like that. I don't remember anymore. It's so long ago. Uh, I say long ago. I'm I'm not even 560 subs. You guys, if you're watching this, please sub. Consider. I love you all. Uh, there is a museum. We have a little rental here, actually. Uh, Del Sol Valley is supposed to be like a place for famous people to be in. So you want to rent right at the center and be like, okay, I I need to, you know, see these famous people i want to see what's going on in here we have also a spooky but the party place hillside bar over here we have a library and we have the best for the best restaurant this is like the hottest spot in the town everyone is coming here to eat okay then we have stranger bill and i believe i did something here as well yes i didn't change this lot whole lot i did empty it out and uh, remodel it a little bit downstairs i believe under the wreckage but i can't promise anything we have renovated uh, sleep 42 here and we have renovated uh, sleep 43 here they are the same lot but different side of the uh, little uh, area over here there's a empty abandoned quarter over here so you can build whatever you want over there yourself there's a saloon because on some point i was into westerns i, d I didn't um, build many western things but i tried and uh, i disappointed myself but i think this was pretty cool like it's not a big thing it's not a huge anything but uh, i do like it we don't have horses yet apparently there's gonna be a some sort of a farming back coming up so there could be a horse actually tied up in here or something i don't know this simulation uh, saloon will also have uh, bedrooms because all the saloons did have them we also have the um uh, office over here we have the uh, another bedroom over here and then we have the big big bar and because because sims is awkward we will have a television because that's somehow a requirement for a bar I, I don't know why do we need a bar in here i have no idea but yeah there's a what is this organ thing and everything so this is gonna be a great place to hang out did it have any trades i could uh, give it some trades if we don't have any oh yeah okay creepy crawlies and i think filthy would be very appropriate and i think it could be also up and coming hotspot because it's the only place to go in strangerville I have no reasoning behind the stuff I decide, I just make it happen. Old Quarter Library, and then we have a couple of container homes over here for the uh, little bit of a modern touch. Then we have these uh, family homes that I absolutely love, 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 love. Uh, also, I haven't touched the lab, secret lab. Uh, if you want to play the game uh, playthrough on this, you... Um, I, I don't want to go and touch this. I don't want to go and screw the um, gameplay through that. Then we have Stilani, one of my favorite maps in the whole Sims 4. I love, 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 love living here. It's so aesthetically pleasing. Uh, I know people were very disappointed with um, the island living. I know mermaids were never my thing. I was never into the whole... Um, what am I call it? The... Uh, uh, occult stuff i didn't really care for that but i do love the aesthetics of this and the build by menu it's excellent so we have a rental over here people can come on a holiday for this holiday perfection home uh, we have salty tiki bar over here it's very appropriate then we have a bit of a uh, onali uh, beach here i renovated it just a little bit changed added stuff over here then we have a starter home just under 17,000 over here and another one renovated for 18,000 over here. We have Survival's Paradise. This is a little cabin that has a plane wreckage on it. 
Then we have Caldera Camp that got uh, renovated. It has volcanic activity on it still. I didn't want to go and touch that. Uh, Modern Reef is over here. It's absolutely adorable home. We have Living is a Beach over here. We have renovated Beer Perfection and Living Tropical. It has a natural well. Um, so you can cut some of the costs on that lot. Villa Sunny and a little tropical in my mind. Most of these lots had, I think, the uh, spirits on them. Quite a few did. Oh, and this is completely out of place, but I felt every lot, because I'm such a modern builder, I just felt like this, this, th there has to be one per map at least. Glimmer book, uh, Brook, we have um, this houses from uh, already stopped let's play for the uh, it was called magical witches legacy challenge yes so then we have also family home adamina and this is a big big home it has a farming area and there's a tree house and everything and there's a big pond in the front and everything like that then there's a a frame bar you can go and chill out in there. There's also a little uh, Brooks Bridge Borrow. Uh, it looks like it has different wallpapers here. Yeah, I need to probably check that out. And then we have Lucy. And Lucy is unfurnished um, house that I did in collab with another Simmer. Brightchester. I don't think I have... I have actually done something here. Okay, so we have uh, you Bright Commons over here that look uh, like modern buildings. Have I done something here? I have no idea. University housing, probably have. I'm gonna recheck everything. So if there's a reason I haven't touched some lot, it's just to avoid not breaking things. Uh, you bright comments. That's a new building as well. There's a couple of houses here. We have university housing over here, and we have a sunny side up diner, which is from uh, Maxis itself. There is Oakenstead Library. This was. Uh, originally a uh, castle build from me it was Oakenstead castle or manor or mansion or something so there is gonna be an um, interesting time to study there because it's absolutely filthy it's spooky but it has such a fast internet and then we have the uh, Foxbury side we have university housing and we have the Foxbury commons uh, what's the commons here on this side you write comments, comments, Foxberry, okay, maybe, who knows. Then there's Perfect Balance Housing, Perfect Balance Housing over here. Uh, they are copies of each other with different um, uh, color theme. They are modern type of houses as well. Then we have Evergreen Harbor. And I have started something here. I have... Uh, added some houses over here. Uh, I haven't touched the quarry building. I will change the state of uh, the footprint so they will change the um, look of these areas and these I believe are changing depending on uh, what the eco print is like I assume. And here is the Maxis always dust bowling because dust everywhere. We have honeydew containers. We have another container home over here. We have a shipping views. This is, has been renovated. We have renovated the Portsmouth Promenade. Pr promenade. And uh, waterfront is another one that I won't be properly touching. I wanted to change as you change your eco um, eco footprint here. Then we have renovated spruce wood. Um, a square we have renovated the canal corner and then we have these apartments as well so they are all renovated and changed to something else and then we have a old factory that is as a residential lot here uh, mount komorebi i have changed uh, some 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 we have a lounge here i have changed a little bit about this lounge i have renovated it a little bit we have a family home Kyo over here uh, we have a renovated uh Bakaba mori lot here it's now rental then we have these two as residentials they are more um their own style than following the style of this map per se we have a small starter home over here. We have a park. 
I didn't do much change in this lot. I think it is a copy of another one from another uh, spot in the map, uh, other maps, but you know, who doesn't do that? Then we have this family who is living here. I don't think I have done anything with these guys. No, I haven't. Nor have I touched that bar or these lots here. Okay. Also, I haven't touched these two yet, but I will. Because I remember Salvadorada being one of my favorite lots ever. And I, I, I love the aesthetics of this one a lot too, but I never got around to do it. I don't know. What do you think? I have also some families here. Uh, this guy is my uh, go-to tester, but we have re uh, given makeover to land crabs who are not wanting to show up other than the man right now because some mod in my game. There's BFFs here as well. They are not really good at showing off them selves here. Caliente has gotten a makeover. Lenders are made by me. I haven't gone through everyone yet, but I will. There's a whole lot of random ones as well that I won't be approving into my um, game. So like, if you don't see some townie, I'm so sorry. I will be creating news. But um, you let me know. I have a huge like um, Google Doc on my other screen right now. I'm looking at it and reading like townies who I've been fixing. And uh, Mount Komarepi is completely undone. And uh, I have listings of uh, community spaces in uh, Pride, uh, in Evergreen. And uh, this is just a lot of stuff. Wow. Absolutely insane. Did you see something that you missed? Was there something you might need in your own game? Let me know down below. And uh, I would love to hear your opinion about this. So it has been a long, long video. I'm so sorry about that. But uh, hope you ha <laughs> stayed. And give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Happy semi. Bye bye.